Hello, good morning. This is Manjula Devi. I'm going to take a topic on anti-Cortean zonism. The description of the module is, the course name is Oncology 1 and the title is anti-Cortean zonism. It can be played with any video player. An objective of this is uh, to study about the pathophysiology of Parkinson zonism and the mechanism of action and those and area and pharmacokinetic of anti-Cortean zonism drugs. And the model name is anti-Cortean zonism. And the development team are as follows. The program coordinator is Dr. P. Shamuk Sundaram, a subdirector director. And course coordinator is the head of the department, Dr. Ramayan Vilmutan. And the lecture content is prepared by myself, Kiman Devi, and is reviewed by Dr. Shrika. Coming to the definition, the Parkinsonism is defined as hypokinetic motor syndrome with reduced spontaneous activity, slowed movement, rigid, and increase in muscle tone and resting tremor. It is disabling motor impairment due to the loss of nitrostriatal dopaminergic neuron. This is due to the loss of dopaminergic uh, neuron release uh, in the Stuxtrans and Niagara area. Uh, so this uh, dopamine levels are decreased due to this nerve endings damage. This uh, causes the symptoms of Parkinsonism. These are the symptoms of Parkinsonism. Pill rolling tremors, akathisia, rigidity, kinesis, Unstable posture, no arm swimming in rhythm with the legs, saloria, aplogic crisis, nervous depression, involuntary tremors, and ciboria and mask with facial expression. The first letter indicated as red to me. This is nothing but a Parkinsonism name. With the Parkinsonism name, each letter can be used for the remembrance of the symptoms. This is the symptoms in the image we can able to see in the age old person. And the type and causes of Parkinsonism may be idiopathic or secondary, the secondary are as follows. It is maybe due to drug induced or due to the environmental toxicity or infection or metabolic disorder. And coming to the definition of anti-Parkinsonism drug, the drug used to treat the Parkinsonism disorder are called anti-Parkinsonism drugs. The classification of drugs used to treat the Parkinsonism, there are two uh, uh, mechanisms. Uh, drugs are affecting the brain cholinergic system and drugs are affecting the brain cholinergic system. So the drugs affecting the brain or brain dopaminergic system is as follows. Dopamine precursor as examples levodopa and peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor is carbidopa and dopaminergic agonist are bomocriptin and MOA B inhibitors are salicylin and COMT inhibitor that is C-cortical orthomethyl transferase inhibitor is entecaphone and dopamine facilitator is amintadin. And uh, based on the cholinergic system, the drugs affecting are central anticholinergic drugs, trihexylphenidyl, and uh, procyclidin and viperidin, and uh, antihistamines are orphanadin and mucromatacin. And this drug, uh, Parkinsonism therapy, is based on targeting the enzymes, which is uh, metabolizing the dopamine. If you are inhibiting the enzymes, we can increase the dopamine levels in our body or inside the brain. Thereby, the symptoms of the Parkinsonism can be um, uh, increased and the uh, anti Parkinsonism effect can be produced. And uh, the enzymes which are going to inhibit or metabolize the dopamine levels are dopa decarboxylase and catechol orthometal transferase, which can peripherally metabolize the dopamine levels or levodopa and uh, it, the dopamine also is metabolized inside the brain and that is with the help of the monoamino oxidase especially B if we are targeting these three and we are giving facilitators or dopamine like drugs we can uh, treat the patients off for symptoms of the Parkinsonism. Coming to the individual drugs, first one is dopamine precursor, that is levodopa, that is nothing but pro drug. The drug, as a dopamine is unable to cross the blood brain barrier, it is given in the form of L. Uh, after crossing the blood brain barrier, it is converted into dopamine. Coming to the mechanism of action, levodopa, if you are giving a much amount of the drug, the only two, one to 22 percentage of the drug is going to be process the blood brain barrier. Remaining 95 percentage or 98 percentage drugs is going to be directly metabolized in the Andropos fast pass metabolism and this uh, re, two percentage of drug reaches the brain and taken up by the dominant neuron in the brain and converted to dopamine and the symptoms of your Parkinsonism get decreased. And uh, the, the metabolism uh, comes under, uh, it is uh, rapidly absorbed from the small intestine, undergoes a high pass pass metabolism and TCAF is 1 to 2 hours and is metabolized in the liver and excreted in the urine. And the area is nausea, vomiting, partial hypotension. On long term usage, it can be have abnormal movements, and it is used in the Parkinsonism therapy. And coming to the second group or the second classification, carbidopa and 
benzeride side this uh, this is nothing but ddc inhibitor this is one of the enzyme inhibitor so are combinedly giving the carbidopa and levodopa it can increase the amount of a drug which is crossing the blood brain barrier so levodopa and carbidopa is given in the combination the large amount of levodopa crosses the blood brain barrier and dopamine levels is increased that are improved effect in the parkinsonism symptoms to patients Domestic agonist. That is next to group. Example is bromocriptine. It is an ergot derivative. It is a potent dopamine two receptor receptor antagonist. It is uh, produces uh, or decreases the symptoms half uh, to one hour of the oral dosage, and it uh, lasts action lasts to six to ten hours. And uh, the mechanism action is bind to the D two receptor and produces agonist action like dopamine, and it decreases the for Parkinsonism symptoms. And uh, it is used alone, and high doses needed, and it's an expensive. And area is nausea, vomiting, and partial hypotension and insomnia. And MO inhibitor, the serotonin is an example. It is also known as defranil, and uh, it is an irreversible inhibitor of MAOB. And it is MAOB is present in the brain. It uh, involves the breakdown of dopamine in the brain. So if it is administered with the levodopa, it uh, prolongs the action of levodopa. And coming to the pharmacokinetics, readily absorbed from the GAT and it rapidly distributed in the tissues and including brain. Selgin is metabolized in the liver and metabolization metabolite is excreted in the urine. Area is partial hypotension, nausea, confusion, and conversion. Formed inhibitor, entacafon, tolcafon are the drugs which is selectively or reversibly inhibitor. Enzyme called the catechol orthomethyl transferase. It can be introduced in adjuvant to levodopa. Uh, Carbidopa for the advanced form uh, Parkinsonism disease that is PD. Uh, it is also play a major role in conversion of this uh, uh, degradation of levodopa that is two uh, three ortho methyl dopa and degradation of dopamine in the brain. So if you are inhibiting the COMT, we can increase the dopamine levels. Thereby, the Parkinsonism symptoms can be decreased. Coming to the ADR, it has produces nausea, vomiting, dyskinesia, partial hypotension, hallucination, and diarrhea. Dopamine facilitator is a glutamate antagonist and MDA receptor antagonist that is Samatadine is the best example. It is also an antiviral drug. It's as a serendipity, it is useful in the Parkinsonism and it is, uh, develops over months. Tolerance is developed and efficacy is uh, gradually lost. Uh, it acts by antagonizing NMDA is type of glutamate receptor. So it can be used in the milder cases, not in the major cases. So coming to the com uh, last uh, that slide that is nothing but all the drugs in one slide that is treatment of Parkinsonism, DDC inhibitor, C1 inhibitor, MOB inhibitor, and the dopamine precursor and the dopaminergic or dopaminic um, agonist drugs, which can be used for the treatment of Parkinsonism. Thank you all.